Hello everyone and welcome again to the Fox Tech video right here. So this time we have another topic which is related to the live photos. Now the thing is that you may know how you can turn it off for the iPhone so you can turn it off, but how do you turn it off permanently? Like sometimes you disable the live photos, close the app, like the next day you open up the app and the live photos are still enabled and this may be kind of annoying. So of course if you open up the camera, the icon at the top, turn on live photos, live photos are turned off. But how you can make sure that it is permanently, that it's gonna be staying this way. What you do in this case is that you open up the settings of your iPhone and in here, scroll down and find the, mu the camera section. So open up the camera like this. You have formats, videos and stuff, but I want you to click on preserve settings, which is right here, preserve settings and get inside of here. The first options, the first five are, are not really that important for us. We don't care about the modes and stuff, but we only care about the live photos. Live photos, as the description says, preserve the live photo settings rather than automatically reset it to live photos turn on. So you can see that by default, the live photos are being turned on, which is something that we don't like apparently. So just make sure that the toggle is turned on, make sure that live photos is selected, the toggle has to be green. And now, whichever settings you perform within the camera app, whether you decide to keep the live photos on or off, doesn't matter if you close the app and come back to it, it's gonna stay turned off no matter what. So you can see it right there, no problem with it at all. This is how you can permanently turn off the live photo capabilities on iPhone. So that's basically how it works. So before I just wrap up the video, I need to show you one more thing in here, which is the Fox Tech educational platform. It is a platform which I created and you can join for free. It's linked down below in the description and inside you can find out the classroom section, a bunch of different resources, full guides for many different apps, nice stuff. So yeah, it's free to join. Go ahead and check it out. It's linked down below. And of course, I'm going to wrap up the video right now. If you found it useful, hit the thumbs up, subscribe down below so you never miss future tutorials and videos like this one. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.